Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for this project. You can also get that list on the community tab. What I am doing is something that I've thought about doing for a while now and I'm super pumped and excited to do this project and I hope it comes out the way that I'm envisioning even though it is going to be a little different. So we're going to be making a little ring jewelry box and I'm about to show you everything needed so let's get to it. Alright so the first thing you're going to need is one of these little um, kind of boxes. I picked a coffin because I just thought it was so cute. So you're gonna need one of those. And you're gonna need paint. And I'm gonna be painting it black, which is ink by Waverly, because I just think that worked really well for this project. So you're gonna need all that. You are gonna need some cardboard for this. And you could do this different ways. This is the way I'm gonna do it. You're gonna need a pencil to trace the shape on the cardboard. You're going to need a cutter. And I wanted vel red velvet, but I did not have that. And I'm using stuff I already have. So I'm going to pick this Halloween themed scarf I used for one of my other projects. Because it'll work. Hopefully. We're going to be needing some Mod Podge. Some paint brushes. And we're going to be using glue, hot glue. So that is everything that is needed for this project. All right, y'all. So y'all can do this one of two ways. Y'all can take a screwdriver and unscrew all this so that you don't get paint on it. Or you could attempt to do what I'm going to do and hopefully it comes out good. And I'm just going to paint carefully around it and try not to get too much paint on it. but you can unscrew it. It all depends on how you want to do it. So I was just trying to be careful and I'm doing that with all of it. And it probably would be a lot easier to unscrew it, but you know, I just decided to go this route. So as you can see, I'm going around it and then I will worry about painting the whole thing. When you get far enough away from it, when you use a bigger paintbrush, you're not gonna hit it. And that's the plan. Or you can do as bad as me. You just hit it regardless. I don't have the steadiest hand. Sometimes I do really good and other times it just does what it wants. All right. So you're also gonna do the inside just to make it look complete. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the whole thing. So now I'm going to switch to a bigger paintbrush. And just paint. And like I said, you do not have to use black. 
if that's not the color you want this is the color I picked because when I think Halloween theme and coffins this is the color I think of So, and look at that. It's already coming out looking good. Well, in my opinion, anyways. And to me, my opinion is what matters. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, look at that already. Painted it nice and good. And I think I did a pretty decent job of not getting paint really on the fixtures. So this is literally all that's left for this part. All right, so I'll let y'all see it when it's done. All right, y'all, now you can see it is done, the paint completely painted black just the way I wanted it I'm happy with it I think it's gonna come out looking really great and the other colors are gonna pop so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the cardboard and I already cut out one shape to try to match it it fits in there it may not be the perfect shape but it does fit in there so I'm going with this and then I'm gonna do it twice because I want to make sure that it's thick enough So I'm cutting the shape out twice. So all I did was trace the shape. That's what the pencil's for. And now I'm going to cut as soon as I find my color that disappeared on me. And I probably could have done it up higher, but it's fine. So I'm just going to cut the excess off and then go from there. going to glue these two pieces together so that it has a bit of a thickness and then I'm going to add the um, not the fabric but I'm going to add another step because I didn't think to do this just to make sure that it pops I don't need to add it it's fine never mind I'm, I was gonna paint this white but this is fine so now the next step is just to glue these together so all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the two pieces together because like I said I want just to have the thickness of it the thickness of it And then the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I tried Mod Podge this on the Ghost and it did not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue it on here and then Mod Podge over it to help harden it. So that is the plan for this. So let's get on that. make sure it's glued down everywhere see how it's got a little up so I gotta go back and I gotta glue just to make sure it stays down
Now other glue might work, but this worked for the ghost one and that's why I'm doing it now because it did work for the ghost. And I was really happy with that. So that is why I'm using it again for this. I would have really, really loved velvet, y'all. I just think red velvet would have worked so well with this. But I'm not calling myself a beggar, but beggars can't be choosers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this off now that I glued it. And then we'll Mod Podge and let it dry. See if I can do it with scissors instead of the cutter. I can probably clean up some stuff with the cutter if I have to. Sorry, I'm out of camera. I have a bad habit of doing that, y'all. I get in my own little world. I know where the camera should be, but I get in my own little world and do my own thing. And you'd think me knowing I do that, I would stop, but I don't. I, I'm sure y'all get in y'all's own little world when y'all do things too, and don't even think about it, so I'm sure y'all know exactly what I mean. You're, you just space out, because you're so focused on this that everything else just disappears around you. Alright, so that is done. And then the next step is just to put Mod Podge over it. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna clean this off first to get the sticky glue off, and then I'll Mod Podge it. Now y'all can also try it without the Mod Podge and see how y'all think it works. But I just want to harden this up just to make sure I have no problems with it. Now, also there were other options I was debating on because I really, like I said, I really wanted to do the red velvet, and I don't have any. I just thought it would work really well with this project but um there are options like uh vinyl and paint because I, I thought of that I thought I could just paint it red but it, it just didn't I don't know I just to me it didn't have the feel I was going for I mean I could be very wrong but when I thought about it it just didn't feel right so I put a nix on the paint and the vinyl but like I said that is something y'all can do so there is my Mod Podge over it. Now we just gotta let it dry and then we can move to the next step. All right y'all, so it's dry and I'm gonna attempt something I've never done before. This is supposed to be for rings. So we're gonna do it. So um, I'm gonna make a slit I'm just going to stick the ring in there and see if it's the right size. I mean, this is all trial and error. I've never done this before, y'all. So, the whole point is just to get the ring to stick. And I'm not going to do a lot of them because it's just supposed to put some rings and I don't want them to be bunched up together. So I'm not going to do that. That one didn't. I don't know what happened there. And I'm probably going to do one more. I don't know. I could probably do one more, yeah. It either to work or it won't. 
This is all trial and error really is. All right, so there's my ring spots for this. Let me put my rings back on. And then the last step is to glue this in here so it stays. And so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so the last step is literally just putting the glue down. And I'm trying to do this as fast as I can because it is hot glue. And then just sticking this in there and let it set. And that is it for this project, y'all. I am in love with it. I think it came out looking great. And it is a simple, little box that no one would know holds your precious rings and it's great to put out even just as decorations for Halloween or if that's your decor all right so I am happy with this project I think it came out looking amazing I hope y'all liked it too and if you did please please like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow and I'll see y'all next time bye